So as you know, if you saw my last videos, to get this thing to run, because I didn't think I could get it to run on the rotary phase converter, I had ordered a variable frequency drive, a VFD. And then I was able to get it to run on the uh, rotary phase converter. So that's what it was running on in these those last videos. That was the, the hum before you started up the machine itself. And the VFD has come in. So I got it hooked up here. It's a Toshiba. Runs off of a 30 amp double pole breaker. And uh, we can control it right from the keypad here. So let's... Let's start it at, let's say 30 hertz. And that's it. It's, it's running at what should be half speed now, and it barely makes any sound at all. And it's still moving a good amount of air. Not a lot of water lift, of course, but... And then we can go up to 40. I was using it at 40 hertz quite a bit to do some cleaning here in the garage. And uh, it still has this nice low purr to it. And And then we can go up to full speed. And we can stop it. And now all you're hearing is the little cooling fan. And we'll start it up again. So it's running on full speed. And that's, that's just motor sound. And then if we open the inlet. There's that performance we had earlier. And also in the last couple videos, I never showed the original wall inlets that I was able to get from the building that this came out of. Uh, these, I, I was able to get the paint off of them without messing up the nickel plating too much. You can see it's pretty, pretty well worn, but looks worse in the video than it actually is, I'm sure. These are all in pretty good shape. Some of them need new seals on the inside. Uh, you know, 90 years. 90 years of abuse. And this is one of the switches that would actually turn the system on. And there was one next to the machine itself. And then I think there would have been one in each uh, janitor closet near the hose racks. But just a regular porcelain turn switch like you see in early 1900s houses sometimes would turn this entire beast on. And have a look inside here. 
this access plate was to clean the screen. Cyclonic. Doesn't use a cone to separate what was previously picked up from what's currently being picked up. It relies on the height of the separator tank to, to do that. And so inside there, you go up and see the screen. Intake will be on the right side. And there's what we picked up. Actually, quite a bit in there. And uh, I've seen pictures of another Spencer unit that had the same same stenciled uh, little notations on here. Clean screen every week. Remove dirt after each day work. So I think when, when these machines were being shipped to schools or, or wherever, Spencer would put that on there for you. Um, unless all the machines had it, I, I don't know. But anyway, those two wing nuts for that. And then to remove the dirt, you, you have these catches spring-loaded. And it's probably going to be messy here. Let's see. Oh yeah, you can see this. <laughs> the stratification of what we've been picking up. So it's a pretty nasty job to empty this out, of course. You, I guess put some, uh, put a garbage bag around it and just shovel it out. Um, and this is the plate, the door. I had to get new gasket material for in here. This was all shot. But that wasn't so bad. Uh, All the Spencers until, well, they started out with a removable dirt can in some of them. And then they were all built like this with just the, the door that you would scrape the dirt out of until probably the, well, oh, geez, 40s, 50s. Uh, and then the machines started to come with the, uh, the dirt can with the lever to raise and lower it. Get out of here, Doug. And that's it. Thanks for watching.